Well, buckle your seatbelt, fans, because we're about to have ourselves a hell of fun slugfest. Oh, boy. And Lucha Libre Wrestling, too. Throughout the history of Alternative Wrestling Show, we've had a tremendous partnership with many of the promotions down south of the border. And we're about to show off more Lucha Libre action. Okay, Shibata, we weren't supposed to say the F word, but okay. <laughs> well, the LA Fers, I'll let you fans figure out what that F means. The LA Fers, the Elocto Suicida, Acero Dorado in the blue and yellow, and in the red and white, Dr. Maldad, also being flanked by Big Nasty himself, former UWN Tag Team Champion, Eric Watts. And Watts looks like he's getting down. So, I mean, I'm expecting great things of this team. Well, this ought to be mighty interesting here. This is an eight-man tag team matchup and contested under Lucha Libre rules. But this will be only a single fall. This will not be two out of three. But this will be a single fall matchup, which means you don't even have to tag your partner for there to be a legit change in a wrestler inside the ring. Eric Watts knows about the, uh, the tag team wrestling scene, and the LA Effers, no stranger to tag team gold in their own right, former two-time holders of the AWS tag team titles throughout the numerous members of the LA Effers stable. But I have to point out, Michael, what an interesting contrast of music. <laughs> I feel giddy, I feel, I feel puffy. I... Well, Lucas Riley, one of the prolific young wrestlers out of the Santino Brothers Wrestling Academy. Los Luchas, former holders of the AWS Tag Team titles. And Uptown Andy Brown, who has had an incredible last couple of months, having, having dominated the ranks of Empire Wrestling Federation and SoCal Pro Wrestling, just recently became the inaugural Ground Zero Champion, and also become, uh, winning the award for Most Outstanding Wrestler from SoCal Uncensored. This man is success on a silver platter. You ain't kidding. All those accolades and still a very humble person, but I mean, he's here to give everybody hell. Especially the LA efforts. <laughs> Well it out, Shavada. And of course, your official for this matchup, Jeremy Marcus, the poor bastard. Oh, man. Poor him out for Jeremy. <laughs> I was speaking to both him and Rick Knox in the backstage area, and they pretty much had to flip a coin just to figure out who was going to do this one. I don't know if you could say that Marcus lost or won that coin toss, because this is going to be a hard one to, to officiate. But you know what? If anyone can keep these efforts and uptowners in line. Maybe it's Jeremy. <laughs> now the hard task is who's going to start off. The crowd is calling for Acero Dorado, which I believe translates to Golden Steel. Um, well, I failed Spanish in the middle school, so I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I, I, I Googled. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Well, Acero Dorado and Phoenix Star, I believe, uh, excuse me, uh, Zocre, set to start off this eight-man Tag Team Lucha Libre Rules Match. That's a long title. You've got to imagine we're going to see some high-flying, death-defying, crazy-striking, rapid-fire madness. <laughs> I can hardly wait for and that And then one. some. Well, Cerro doesn't have a whole lot of rhythm there. <laughs> and, Whoa. Oh, but he got that knee, though. Now Zokere, no, he switched it off. Irish whip off of the ropes, ducks the clothesline, ducks the second one. Zokere and Dorado off of the ropes. Roll out by Zokere, leapfrog by Dorado. Slap to the chest, now with a, with a knuckle lock. Springboard sway off of there, into an arm drag. And I propose a drinking game here, Kathy. Every arm drag, you do a shot. I'm gonna do a shot of water, or this is gonna get very <laughs> dangerous very quickly. Ducks the clothesline, and now Dr. Maldad. Trying to Charlie Horse a leg, uh, oh. Phoenix Star. And as you would just see, yes, under Lucha Libre rules, technically you do not have to tag your partner. All you have to do is slide out of the ring and hit the floor, and any of your partners can come in legally. And 
Shoots him off to the opposite side. The Phoenix Star leapfrogs right over. And a big boot to the chest. So Cray flipped out of it by Dr. Maldad. And to a full Nelson. And own arm drag. There's another shot. And ducks the clothesline. Dr. Maldad. Sick leg takedown. Maldad off the ropes. Phoenix Star dropping down. Passing him off. Out. Wow! Just what the doctor ordered. Oh, a handspring. Great agility for a man of that size. And got him an electric chair up there. Start. No, nope. wheelbarrow. And to another arm drag. Oh, no. Into the crowd, supported by the fans. It's a good thing they caught him. What a clothesline. Piloto Suicida, hot out of the box. And Lucas Riley jumps into the ring. Piloto looks like he doesn't even want to give the time of day to this young upstart, but Lucas Riley is a force to be reckoned with. Oh, he's a talented young man who is still trying to make his mark. Very, uh, well, I don't want to call him, well, very fit wrestler, we'll say. Uh, you know, what he lacks in muscle mass, he makes up for it with speed and accuracy, and that is on display right now with an awesome combo. Waist lock, and now backdrop, no. Lips is right over, way out of it. Riley tried to go for the boot, and it ends like to the ear. Now Piloto. And to a springboard! Well, oh. to a springboard snap there. It looks like he was trying to score with the arm. Oh no. Oh. Look out, Riley! Whoa! Bicycle kick attempt. No, watch inside the ring. The chop and a forearm. Make another chop. Oh, Riley is in trouble now. Never mind. He scored with a beautiful knee to the mouth. And now Riley off of the ropes. Oh no. Oh. Riley is in trouble. Oh no. Just hang in there. Watts has got him at his mercy. Oh, oh my, my God! God, like, wow. a, like a drop pie. Poor thing. You see his head bounce off of the mat after that devastating power bomb. Now Andy Brown inside the ring. Oh. Gets met with a shoulder tackle. Scrambling to his feet. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, Eric Watts telling the fans and everyone here that he has no chill. A usually very composed competitor. <laughs> Big nasty. Oh no. Gets the boot of Brown. Aw. Oh, solidarity. She can follow a friendly rivalry. Wakanda forever or whatever that may be. Got him goes on a broken grip. Into a bicycle knee and a bicycle kick. And a roaring elbow. He finally knocked Watts down to one knee. And another elbow. Dark fit. Wow. Watts is back up on his feet. Uh, I don't really think you hurt him very much there, Brown. I think all you did was piss him off. Oh. Good night, Brown. If you're going to do anything to Watts, oh. make it count. Well, Watts is making every single one of these strikes count as he knocks out all the opposition with one blow. The alley efforts have now stormed the ring. And this matchup has completely oh fallen off gosh. of the rails. Jeremy Marcus needs to get control of this situation because everyone is going completely insane. Well, good luck with that. What the hell is going on here? Huh? Everyone's getting thrown into a corner. LAF is sewn out into the ring aprons. Oh! oh. Watts just collided shoulder oh. first into the ring post. Oh. Los Lucha is getting this crowd in Southgate going. Jeremy Marcus trying to get the action back into the ring. Oh my goodness. Oh my oh. god! Somebody call Ali. Yes, man, we got some unknown flying objects all over the building. Some high flying in stereo for the crowd here at AWS. One of the styles of wrestling that AWS has been founded upon in Lucha Libre action. Where do we go from here? Well, the opposition's on the outside of the ring. You know, Whoa. maybe everyone's just going to calm down and be really tame. You but sure, I doubt you it. You sure about that? <laughs> I don't think I would bet a penny on that on that bit. Oh. A low slooch at the store in the ring once again. And this definitely shows the cohesiveness of the LAFers. Oh! And a sense of just going in there and clobbering their opposition. And having Watts as a partner is a definite bonus as well. Just a, a flurry of, of brightly colored spandex and masks <laughs> and skin is... Absolutely outrageous. That also reminds you of a lot of the chaos over in bar wrestling, doesn't it? Oh, it certainly does. Oh, reverse STO on uh, Lucas Riley by 
I believe that's a Biloto Suicida. Dr. Maldad throws Zulkri, or excuse me, a Phoenix Star into the top turnbuckle. Watts just tossed Andy Brown out of the ring. And now we got a four on one and a four on two, a four on two advantage here. Thank goodness and you're good at math. Go! Oh! Phoenix Star just got wishboned across the, the ring post. That's going to make his uh, weekend plans very interesting. And now Zalkre, double team maneuver coming up. So Dorado and oh damn! I don't know why they call that in. I don't know why they call that innovative or a mistake. But they just looks like almost a double team spine buster and then chucked him into the bottom rope. He smacked the back of his head. That's making the uh, working with the situations that you're given. And now Andy Brown inside of the ring with Dr. Maldad and Nacendo Dorado. He loved to suicide it up on the top. Oh. Double spine buster. Here comes Suicida. Oh. And a splash from the heavens. Call him a, a kamikaze pilot that just crashed and burned his opponent. It looks like now the majority of the LA efforts are taking it out on Zofre. You got a grill presser and great show of strength by Nacendo Dorado. Oh. Zoker is down. Senton splash. And they're not done with him. Dr. Maldad is up on the top. Woo! Oh my God. What a move. That humongous like Dr. Maldad. A ton of bricks. Holy wow. moly. Dr. Maldad may have the physique of a drunken uncle on Super Bowl Sunday, but that man can sure as hell move with the best of them. And Lucas Riley up in the lights. He gets slammed down. And on another splash by Bielotto Suicida. Andy Brown back into the ring. Back to the vengeance, throwing these crazy forearms at everyone representing the LA efforts. He's clocked every single person. The only one that has not gone down is Watts. And Watts has got that look of death on his eyes. He's take, looking to take out Andy Brown right here and right now. Oh. Oh, he boxed his ears. Or at least one of his ears. He's got another one. It's fine. Well, if you get a burst air drum and even one ear, that's definitely going to end the match for you. And now Andy Brown back inside the ring. Roll up. No, oh, he tried to go for the cutter. Andy Brown up on the middle rope. Oh. And something just flew out of Watt's mouth after that kick. Oh, and a, a cutter and a side kick to the side of the face. And now Nacero and Dr. Maldad back inside the ring with Zoe Curry and Brown. Brown out of the ring. And there is there's a tag team prowess of the LAFers on display once again. Definitely shows the cohesiveness between these men with their multiple man maneuvers, double and triple team maneuvers. And now Los Luchas are in trouble. What in oh, the world? Beautiful, innovative teamwork from that Los Luchas. And Lucha, Lucas off of the top, off of the top, middle rope, springboard, Hurricanrana, Hurricanrana City. You know, I think I'm going to get sued for that. We'll say um, Hurricanrana House. There we go. Hurricanrana House Party. There we go. Well, I'm going to get sued for that, too. Well, screw it. And a splash Whoa. in the corner. Oh, oh wow. Oh, my goodness. I thought he was going to miss him, but he caught all of that, all of that drop kick. Oh. And a nice shot to Cerro Dorado, who comes back into the ring. Los Luchas. Oh, oh. oh what? damn. Cerro Dorado able to fend off him. Just backhanded all of them. Hey, oh. Close line. Oh. And I believe that was a Phoenix star that just jumped out of the ring, hoping to seek refuge out there amongst the fans. And that was Okre. And it's getting sent in to Acero. Oh. And out of the ring goes Okre. Pilito Suicida with a puncha. Oh. oh! And Acero Dorado with a flip dive to the outside. I think he may have smacked his head on, on the ring apron. Uh-oh. Looks like referee Jeremy Marcus is checking on everyone at this moment. I mean, he did it. He did hit his opponent. Well, he is oh. back on his feet, so I don't know what kind of damage that did to him. But as we mentioned earlier, high risk, high reward. And what? What is Watts doing? Oh, no. Wow! Oh! oh. That man is damn near seven feet tall and just flew out of the ring like a cruiser cruiserweight. Watts has trained alongside and been trained by many luchadors over the course of his career. So I'm sure this is nothing new to him. Oh. It sounds like this when you realize that 
the crowd has to be just as aware and on edge as probably some of the wrestlers in the ring. Yeah, they have to be. Although these 200 plus pound bodies, well, maybe with the exception to Lucas Riley, but every single one of these men are upwards of 200, 200 plus pounds. So having these bodies flying around the ringside area is incredibly dangerous. But when you buy a front row ticket, that's the price you pay. And now, oh, oh! Phoenix Star went for that moonstone. I think he smacked his head across the back of a set of Dorado. This connection. That jacked his whole head back. And now, a set of Dorado up on the top rope. Oh my God! Mark oh. Rana off the top and another splash by Piloto Suicida. That's the exclamation point on that. And yeah, very intelligently, Zokre rolls out of the ring. Dr. Maladad with a fireman's carry on Lucas. He rolls his way out of it. And up onto the middle rope. Oh. Moonsault. He didn't get all of it though. And Brown inside the ring catches him on the chin with that, uh, that hook kick. Watch, has got him goozled. Brown is in the light. Oh. What a spine buster! Lucha's in the ring. Oh, he's got... Watts has them both. Uh oh, and a big boot to Riley. And two. He lets go of those Luchas. Riley is in the clutches of Benito Suicida. And a double pu power bomb on Zocre. And a stunner by his... I believe it's Pilito Suicida. And a submission maneuver by Dr. Maldon. And he still have a pin. The referee hasn't seen it just yet. Je Marcus, I don't know if you noticed, but there's a pin right behind you. So we see it off of the ropes. And oh, a, oh. My he just God. caved in Riley's chest cavity with that maneuver. Two, three, it's over. Oh. I gotta tell you, I'm very happy that we were in the position that we were in for this match. <laughs> this is what we used to call in the military a Charlie Fox strut. If you look that up online, I'm sure that'll definitely answer a couple questions, but that's a word that I can't quite say on the air. Understood. But all in all, the LA Effers and Eric Watts come out on top in this hotly contested eight-man tag team extravaganza. Woo.